All right, what's up, guys? I'm gonna do this. Uh, try to make this a quick video here. Um, I am making uh, some Cinco's today, um, just with some old net baits I had that are like green pumpkin with red flake. Uh, I've got a lizard mold and a uh, four Cinco mold. Uh, the lizard, I think I need an injector. I can't get the legs to completely pour, which I don't mind, and I can't get the tail to completely pour, which I don't mind either. But um, I'd rather inject it and really push all that liquid into there. This is what the lizard looked like. I actually put the, the detail there on myself with the back, bigger eyes. Um, and this one here has got warts on its back. I put warts on there. Uh, as you can hopefully see in there, the warts. And then I cut out a channel, like back ribs on that one. And this is the other top. And they just fit on top of each other. You clamp it up and pour the, pour the mold. This is the Cinco's. They're not the best, but they uh, catch fish, as you guys may have seen in my um, one lily pond fishing video. Uh, so this is a four bank. These are the pegs that line it up when you're done. Um, you just fold it, put it on top of each other, lines right up, clamp it, stand it up. Let me set that down, sorry. Close it, pour it in that hole. And then uh, you got four Cinco's. Um, so we're gonna try that now. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this up and uh, stick these in the microwave and I'll show you that step. Okay, I got it clamped up. I am going to put these in the microwave. I put it on power uh, level one in my microwave um, and go for a minute and a half roughly and then stir it, 30 seconds, stir it, 30 seconds and that should be ready to go. All right, next step, microwave. All right, we're on power. We're on power level one on the microwave. Uh, we're for a minute and a half. We'll go ahead and start that up. Uh, it's in there spinning. The Pyrex um, measuring cup will get super hot, so make sure you got a uh, a um, towel or a, a cup or something or a uh, pot holder. Uh, you're gonna need a popsicle stick to um, stir it up with after the first minute and a half. And I usually go a minute and a half, and then after that, I'll go in 30 second increments until it is like water, liquid. So that's what we're going to shoot for. About 53 seconds right now. Okay, that's the first minute and a half. Like I said, this thing gets hot, so I'll go ahead and use the pirate or the uh, thing. Give it a stir, nothing's really happening yet. Put it back in there. Go another 30. All right, that was another 30. Not much happening yet. Starting to stick together. Back in the microwave, another 30. That was another 30, hot again. All right, now we got, I don't know if you guys, hopefully you can see it, liquid. Give it a stir, almost there. Hopefully another 30 seconds will do it. Put it back in, carefully, 30 seconds. Remember, this is on power level one. If you do this on ten or your max, it's gonna it's gonna burn the stuff up and uh, maybe definitely make a mess. Um, you can obviously do this on like a little Bunsen burner if you're down in the garage. You don't have your microwave or whatever. I'm looking for a small microwave for my garage. You know, something under twenty dollars. Someone's throwing away or free or something like that. So, all right. Once this is done, hopefully we'll run over and pour it. Hot. Remember. All right. That looks pretty liquidy don't you think guys I don't know if you can see that you can see the steam coming off of there dripping pretty good let's go give it a whirl hopefully I got enough to pour four I definitely could use an injector um, I don't this doesn't always work but 
I got nothing better to do for a little while today, so uh, I don't think I got enough, darn it. Oh, there it is. Now we hope that there's enough in there. All the air pockets get out and um, we're good to go. So we will let that probably dry, cool for three to four or five minutes and we'll pop it open and see what we got. All right, couple tips here. Um, when you use the Pyrex, this will keep this, obviously it's been a few, few minutes, but if you have a lot in here, it'll keep this super hot if you just go ahead and put your rag over top and then you can do your Cinco pour and your um, lizard pour if you wanted. So um, that's a good little tip there. Uh, it's been about eh, three or four minutes in here. Um, I'm gonna give it another minute or two and we'll pop it open. See if they even work. It was super close. I didn't think I had enough uh, liquid, but um, or excess rubber, extra rubber, whatever you want to call it, Plastec. Okay, I'm gonna pop the clamp off. And uh, just kind of wiggle it a little bit. I usually pull this if I have some to kind of break the seal. There she goes. Nice and gentle like. There you go. I mean, they're not perfect, but what does a bass know? You know what I mean? Um, uh, they work, I mean, just fine for catching bass. And you got a small little imperfections here and there, but um, they work just fine. And it all depends on what plastic. Obviously, Cinco, Scary Yamamoto makes use certain plastics, so they're definitely not as um, floppy, I guess, or stiff. But once they harden up, they get a little bit better too. Um, they're really soft, so they definitely have super good action, wacky style, really well. Um, so that's it. You just go ahead and recycle all this. Cut this off here. These scissors aren't the best. But that's it. You got four Cinco's. I usually just tear them. Because, like I said, to a fish, they will catch. And now I got four Cinco's ready to go. Mold came out clean. Um, what I use to make these molds, real quick, like is uh, Pop, Plaster of Paris. And um, you just get a container that's yay size, depending on what and how many you want in there. And I had a little dowel rod I, I had, and then this was a, um, a wire nut, and these were wire nuts. So the first thing I did was mix it all up in a measuring cup, poured it to roughly where I had about three quarters of an inch thick, and then got to work kind of quickly, put two um, wire nut washer wire nuts in the molds here for references about only about halfway deep put your stick in and then put the wire nut up against that stick and then you take your uh, Cinco's that you want or whatever you want to copy and carefully lay it in the pot plaster and push it down depending on what you're doing about halfway these one I went about halfway a little more than halfway um, if you're doing a flat sided lizard like these you really only need to push the lizard all the way down and have a flat side but I decided to go half and half to get a get a good pour. That way I can also do the ribs red or the warts red and the body a different color. So I can pour these warts and stuff over here, what I want, clamp it together, and then pour the whole body. Um, so that's, that's about it. Nothing fancy. Uh, I might do a video here on making a, a new mold for you. Um, I might try to do a net bait or something like that so I have little trailers. And even though these little pieces and tags, I mean, you could go ahead and trim those off. But like I said, when that's down under the water, fish isn't going to, most of the time, they're not going to be that picky. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for more um, fishing, wood turning, and whatever else you guys want to see. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to.
and thanks again.